Hey guys, Sam from Mountfus Makes and Moose Mike. So welcome back to all our returners and hi to any newbies. It's so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while and if you like what you see, give us a thummy. They are free. So if you have been on the channel already this week, you will have seen that I got some glorious happy mail from the beautiful Aussie Sandy. And inside were some tasty treats. And we said that we would come back and do a taste test. That is this video. So, to be perfectly honest with you, I think 99% of it I am going to love. There is just one thing that I am not keen to do. So, I don't think this is going to be a highly reactive video. Because sweet Aussie Sandy is sweet and sent us lovely things. So, Aussie Sandy does not have content, but she is a wonderful Yarny friend of mine. She watches all of my videos. She comments every time. She comes to lives when she can. And she is just an all-round wonderful friend and supporter of my channel. And she loves me loads, and I love her too. So, shall we get into starting some of these lovely things all the way from Australia? I think we should. Now, I am going to do... The least potent tasting probably to the most because my palate needs to cope with what I'm doing and my tea is scalding hot. So, <laughs> so the first thing she sent were these beautiful hand-baked cookies from someone in her hometown. Now to me they look like shortbread biscuits with fondant icing on the top. I did let a couple of the kiddos try these last night. I haven't had feedback on all of it, but most of it was a massive hit. So thank you, Sandy. Really appreciate it. But now it's mine and Mike's turn. So I am just going to pick one of the cookies, break it in half, and away we go. I'm going to go for the smallest one so there's more for the other kiddos to try. It is in the shape of a leaf, and it is a cookie with some icing on the top. So, oh, you have the bigger bit. There we go. So, here we go. Yeah. Shortbread cookie with fondant icing. Absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Could eat them all day long. Not a problem at all. They are a little soft, but that's probably because they've had a long way to travel. And it's woke my taste buds right up. <laughs> now, apologies. Mike's only just got out of bed, so if he's a little bit sleepy, that's why. And deep voice. Mm. This is actually the second take, because the first take we did, he went, Where's Mike? <laughs> and I'm like, I can't put that on YouTube. They're good. So, they're good. Thank you so, so much to the lovely ladies. Hmm that made them and how amazing that we can try something freshly made oh. all the way from Australia. I would, if it was a full box, I'd eat them all. Mm. That would definitely. They're light and lovely. Lovely. Mm. lovely. lovely. They're a really nice balance of mm. not too sweet, but then with the fondant on top, it does give you that kick of sweetness. Like I said, a little soft, but they have had a little way to travel. And that doesn't that. bother me because I have really bad teeth. So that is a big pro point to me, actually. And they would be really lovely with a cuppa of mm. an evening while we're watching something. So, big thumbs up for those. Thank you very, very much. Now, I'm going to go to the gummy snakes. You all know that I regularly eat gummies when we go live. So gummies are a massive favourite of mine. They include lemon, strawberry, blackberry, pineapple, and sweet apricot. So I am assuming the red is strawberry. I don't know what the green ones would be. Because the lemon's not green, the strawberry's not green, blackberry's not green, pineapple's not green, and apricot's not green. But I'm going to go for a red one, because in gummy sweets, the red and the blacky purple ones are my favourite so this is what it looks like just a gummy snake I love my gummies I'm going to go for a green one so we can figure out what flavour it actually is mm -hmm. yeah mine's strawberry It's 
up, see if I can figure it out. You have a bit of red. It's got to be the lemon, even though it's green, because it's got a citrus flavour. And I'm not keen on citrus flavour gummies, so that is definitely citrus. supposed to be strawberry but mm. I can't really taste it I can it's absolutely I can, a okay I can tell it's sweet but these we can eat all day long you know we're get big gummy fans the kids love gummies this is a surefire winner so these were the Allen's snakes alive <coughs> all the way it even says up here Australian made nice that's two successes. Right, now the next one is the one that I'm not wanting to do. Because A, I'm not a Jelly Baby fan, and B, I don't like fake chocolate flavour. And these are chocolate flavoured Jelly Babies. <laughs> Mike loves Jelly Babies. And when I was dishing them out for the kids last night, he was going to put one in his mouth. And I'm like, no! He was like, it's only one. And I'm like, you have got to give your reaction on camera in the taste testing video. If you've already had one, it's not going to be new information to your taste buds. Put it down. <laughs> Step away from the gummy. <laughs> he was really disappointed. Well, now's the time. It's not even 24 hours later. Oof. So these are Cheekies, chewy chocolate flavoured jelly babies. That one's giving it real sass on the front, there. Right? Tongue out and everything. <coughs> and they do smell like um, synthetic chocolate to me. They're not hideous. I'm not retching. I'm not wanting to spit it out. Would I eat a bag of them? No. Am I going to have a second one? No, thank you. They keep sticking to my teeth. Mm. But they're girly babies, they're gummy. It says chewy. Oh, and again, the bag says Australian made. Up there. So these are all authentic treats from Australia. I don't mind them, to be fair. They're all right. If I needed something sweet, like a real, I've had something sweet and now my sweetness is sorted. It would be one of them because I wouldn't reach for any more. I'd have one. I'm done. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that's that's a mm -mm for me. Mike's in the middle. He's not bothered. Now, this tea is going to be scolding and I'm prepared to scold my tongue because I don't like that. <laughs> very sticky sorry for the slurping but it's really hot <clears throat> so sorry Sandy they are not a hit and I don't think any of the kids were keen either the ones that did try still got two kids to try them out on and they will get eaten because it's candy and candy is never wasted unless it is to the point where we all have to spit it in the bin like salted licorice um <laughs> <clears throat> but that is the only flop so far so sandy is doing real real good the next one i'm gonna do is wagon wheels and they are mini we do have wagon wheels here in the uk so it will be interesting to see if they are similar to ours bearing in mind though guys i haven't had a wagon wheel since i was a kid so i have to rely on memory i don't know if you've had one any time recently not recently but and we're just going to share one I've because... I've had one as an adult. Yeah. We're just going to share one because, like we said, we haven't been up long. And chocolate for breakfast is sometimes wonderful, but... Oh, they're the jammy ones. Of course they are. Chocolate okay. coated marshmallow and jam. So that is what it looks like inside. It looks like dark chocolate. There is cookie and marshmallow and jam covered in chocolate. That's a standard wagon That's wheel. That's a wagon wheel, yeah. Mm -hmm. They are exactly the same as what we have here. Mm. 
I think if we were to do a blind taste of our one and this one, we wouldn't be able to tell them apart, seriously. I would. There's a different flavour in that jam. But yet you couldn't taste the strawberry in the gummy. Mm-hmm. Your taste buds are so strange. <laughs> There's more flavour in that gummy than there is in the jam in this. <laughs> this one's got like crystallised bits of sugar in there that hasn't quite melted as well so that might be a slight difference subtle difference the chocolate's different as well it's dark well it's not dark I wouldn't eat it if it was dark I don't like dark chocolate the we're used to the English though. chocolate though aren't we so yeah. anything that's not English we're a bit like that is mm. good though mm. I like them to be honest I think I'd pick Sandy's wagon wheels over ours. Because over here, they keep changing the recipes. They keep doing their new and improved. And half the time, they are not improved. So actually, Sandy, I would pick your wagon wheel over our wagon wheel. Yeah, they're good. And there are plenty left <coughs> for others. So that is a big hit. Thank you very much. <coughs> Now, do you want to talk to them about these? Because you actually had one of these last night on the live. Nescafe Mocha Range Tim Tam flavour. Yes. Now, I liked it. I did like it. Um, it's just a normal mocha. I've had we have before. Nescafe here. The yeah. only difference is the Tim Tam. The Tim Tam bit. Um... I suppose the only thing I'd have to say about it was it probably needed more coffee, but... Yeah, when Mike goes out, like if you could go Costa or whatever, Mocha isn't the coffee that Mike chooses. No. It's either a flat coffee. white or an Americano or occasionally a latte, maybe a caramel latte at Christmas time. Mm. But it's Mike good. likes strong coffee, <laughs> like the stronger the better. I cannot do coffee in any capacity. And I have tried all the mochas in the world. I haven't tried this one. Because I thought adding chocolate to coffee, it may be a way of me getting coffee inside me. Because Mountford could do with a little whoop every now and then. I want to like coffee. But just a slightest hint and my body rejects it. I can't stand the smell. I can't stand the taste. I cannot find a coffee that I can drink. Now, if Mike makes another one, I will be brave and have a sip. But I am already knowing that even this one will be one that I cannot have. So, so I don't know. Well, we'll see. If I do try it, I will let you know. But Mike had it last night on the live and he said that it was perfectly fine. Ooh. It wasn't like, ooh, wow, that's different, or mm, no, disappointed. It's pretty much the same, but... Yeah, uh, it was kind of middle of the road, and but, now he's got another two. They will get drunk, they oh, will yeah. not get wasted, and he will enjoy them, because we can't get them unless somebody like Sandy sends them. Exactly. So. And they're very tasty, and the only, like I said, the only thing is I like really strong coffee. Yeah. So... Okay, now, Cadbury Dairy Milk Caramello Koala. Now, we have something here very similar, but they are Freddo Frogs. Now, this is um, runny caramel covered in chocolate. And these are made in Tasmania, it says on the back. Oh. And these are itty bitty. Can I just say that when I was a child with the Freddos, they were like four times the size of this. They were like... But they're not anymore. Wider and taller. You know, they... I mean, they were still snack size, but that... And when I was a very, very small kid, they were that big, and they were five pence. Yeah, five measly pence. And now... Then they went up to ten and got smaller. Yeah. <laughs> then they went up to 20p and got smaller. Yeah, so they went up in price and got smaller. Are we having a whole one, are we? Oh, I was thinking. But... I don't want a whole one. Uh... I'm not very good at sweet stuff first thing in the morning. <laughs> and I'm like, let's eat a load of chocolate for YouTube. <laughs> I'm going to bite his head off, okay? I'm sorry. Oh, let's show you that he is in a koala shape. Look, look, he's a little jolly guy. Look how happy he is in his little overalls. Yeah. Maxie's joining in. She's just at a hall. I okay. do. Mm. They're lovely, are they? Max loves these, Aussie Tandy. Mm. 
It's a Friday. Yeah. Chocolate may be slightly different, but nothing, um, you know, massive. Because we have Cadbury here. I would say the caramel is different. It might just be that your milk takes tastes different, slightly different to ours, it's or good, your though. sugar might be slightly different to ours, which makes the overall <coughs> slightly different. But I don't know whether it's because I've just woke up, but they are extra sweet. It's probably because you've just woke up. You haven't even had a full cup of tea yet. I have. It's good though. I if like you it. if you don't know, tea is life for Mantha. I have mm. at least 15 cups a day. I know, don't tell me in the comments how bad that is for me. I know. But I cannot survive without my tea. And at a certain point in the day, I switch to decaf. I'm not caffeinating myself that whole time. I do switch over. But these, <coughs> huge success. Max says they are absolutely delicious. Really, really lovely. So that is another success. Now we come on to the Tim Tams. Now we have two packs of the original. There we go. These are Arnott's Tim Tam original made with irresistible real chocolate. There are 11 biscuits in here. Now Max and Liam had one last night. They said they taste very similar to what we call penguin bars over here from McVitie's. So I think we are going to be, sorry for the crinkles, we are going to be absolutely fine with these. They even look like a penguin. There we go. Chocolate covered cookie. So I'll bite. That's what it is inside. And I'll finish, clearly. Mm hmm Same shape, appearance, consistency of a penguin. Not as creamy rich as a penguin, in my opinion. Slightly crunchier than a penguin as well. Mm. Nice, nice. Oh, Duncan in me cup of tea. Yum. They're a big hit. Now, I do a little trick with a penguin because I'm a mm. big kid. I bite one end off, really thin, the whole end. And on the other end, I bite the corner off. I dip it in my tea and suck it through like a straw and then eat the melted bit. There is another way of doing that. <coughs> Rather than taking the whole end off, do opposite corners of the bar. So if you do this corner and this corner and do the with your tea, the tea goes through the chocolate inside, which makes it all melty and yummy and delicious. Your biscuit will get soggy. But eat it quick after you've done your thing, <laughs> whole thing in your mouth <coughs> gone. Otherwise, it's going to disintegrate and plop into your cup of tea and it will be a messy disaster. <laughs> so those are delicious. They are good. That is the original flavour. Excuse me. I've got chocolate all over me. Now, the next one is the double coat. So I'm assuming double coat means double the chocolate. And there are nine biscuits in here, so you get 11 in the original and nine in the double coat. That's the company penny pinching. <laughs> Arnott's again, double coat, and it says again, made with irresistible real chocolate. They are good though. I like them. They are the same as the others, although the top of them is a more uh, smooth finish to the chocolate. And they look the same. There is more chocolate. You get more of a melty, claggy when you swallow. I like them. Again, would be great with a cup of tea. Mm. I think I prefer the originals. Mmm. Those were a little bit sweeter than the originals. The double coat is a lot sweeter. My tongue's like, oh. And then finally, this is the last snack that we are tasting today. And it's Tim Tam Deluxe. It is salted caramel brownie flavour. And Mike has been dying to get his hands on these. 
because he loves salted caramel and again there's only nine biscuits so that's the company again and it says extra chocolate and extra gooey center <clears throat> so there we go again similar to the others okay I don't see any caramel. Did I not bite far enough in? I don't know. Oh, there we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have to get a bit further in, Mamfa. Stop being so polite. <laughs> there you go. They're nice. Because salted caramel isn't like in my top five. I like it. I can eat it, but it's not in my top five. I can tell it's salted caramel because it's not something I eat often. No, I think anyone can taste that salt. It's very natural. So out of the Tim Tams, which are your favourite? I'm gonna go out on a limb here. Yeah? Mm. And say the originals. Really? Mm -hmm. That surprises me. I thought these would be everyone hands down. They're they're very very nice, but I couldn't eat a whole packet. No. We are um little piggies when it comes to biscuits or cookies. But we buy a packet and with one cup of tea we can get through the whole packet. That's how we eat cookies or biscuits. So the, the fact that Mike definitely. can't eat a whole packet and he's gonna have to put some back in the cupboard. He's not prepared to do that. <laughs> I am prepared so... to do that. Just, <laughs> but it's not the way you do it. Biscuits is normally your favourites. Yeah. So, for me, my favourite Tim Tam will be the double coat, but the original are right up there as well. There's very little difference between the two. But my favourite snack <laughs> that I have tried today, for me. It was probably the wagon wheel because a it brought back memories of childhood b <coughs> there was just a slight difference with the crystallized sugar in there and it's not too overwhelmingly chocolatey i have to be in the mood for chocolate don't i mm. i can have chocolate out there all week and not touch it and then i either eat it all in one sitting and then regret it because my tummy doesn't like me to eat too much chocolate in one go or i'll have a couple of squares Put it back in the fridge a couple of squares put it back in the fridge and i can make a bar of chocolate sometimes last a week maybe two and mike doesn't understand how i can do that because when he has chocolate gone so chocolate is a anything gone i know <laughs> but chocolate for me is i really must crave it i really must have a fancy in for it otherwise i will pick gummies or stuff instead of so i still get that sweet kick but it's not chocolate. Most of this is chocolate based. <coughs> so for me, the wagon wheel is the top runner. Um, followed by the Tim Tams, I think. My favourite, again, going to be out on a whim here, is those shortbread homemade there you biscuits. Go, the homemade cookies. To be fair, we have shortbread here in the UK. And it has connotations with Scotland. Mike does have Scottish heritage. Um, not that that's got anything to do with it, but it kind of makes sense why shortbread would be a cookie of choice for Mike. And the fact that it's got just enough of the fondant icing on top, I think it's not overdone. And it's just so, it was like clean tasting. Does that mm. make sense? It's not claggy. It's not dry. It's not, it was Coated just right. And chocolate. Yeah, it was just right. And then I think it would be closely followed by the dairy milk caramellos. Oh. Okay. Purely again because it brings you back to Freddo's and memories. Would you ask for a bag of the chocolate jelly babies again? No. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I think that for both of us. They're was okay. The, mm. They're okay. But They're not hideous. They don't make us feel ill. We didn't have to spit it out. I but... have a, I have a um, aversion to hard jelly babies, to be fair. Right. The, the ones we've got are soft. And they... they are soft and covered in ice and sugar and... Yeah, I don't like jelly babies full stop, the hard or the soft, so, and I don't like synthetic chocolate. But anyway, 
there you have it those were our snacks from australia so if you didn't see me opening the happy mail please go back to yesterday and take a ganders because it wasn't just the treats that i got we got some other lovely things as well sandy thank you <clears throat> so so much for being so super generous and giving us items from your hometown yes. literally in the case of the cookies um and letting us try things that we may never have got our hands on otherwise and each and every one of them i can eat so yes definitely there is nothing there that i can't eat so that was a huge huge success thank you so so much for your love and support sandy we really do appreciate it you gave us two items of content from one happy mail so that has been supremely appreciated <laughs> as well um i might do a third video but space it out a little bit because there were two different types of teas that she sent so maybe mike and i can taste the teas at some point um, and we will do that on a, we will film it later at night because one of them is supposed to be perfect just before bed. Mm -hmm. So, um, look forward to that at some point in the future, but I need to get going guys. I need to start rearranging what you see behind me and time is ticking away because we've got to go to my parents for dinner and things as well. So over the next few videos, you will start seeing things change. Um, probably towards the later part of the week and certainly before next week's live this will all look completely different but i am so fed up of tripping over boxes now i need to get it sorted um so yes look forward to changes please come back every day there is daily content here at mumford's makes i am not sure what you're going to be seeing tomorrow but there will be something and then tile of the week thursday crochet catch up and our saturday live so lots to look forward to but until then stay safe be kind look after one another get some good quality time in we love one make sure you taste some tasty treats get some good quality crafting time in <laughs> we will see you in the next one <laughs> we're on you should see thanks sandy Thank you. and love the rest of you bye, bye. see you soon